Welcome back to Game Room Theater everyone. In this video I answer the question if cheap projectors are worth it and recommend the best one that I have come across that only cost a couple hundred bucks. I've reviewed several high-end home theater projectors but I've always been curious about the ultra cheap ones. I've tried out quite a few off of Amazon and ended up keeping the Vancuo Leisure 530W native 1080p Wi-Fi projector. Please continue to watch ahead to see why I chose this one. This is a new projector for, for uh, 2021 that is brighter than quite a few of the others that I've seen on Amazon. I will go through the features of this and uh, also why I end up keeping this one along with other use cases as seen in my Instagram videos and as you can see in the ambience that I'm creating here. Also this would be a good time for you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel as I have a lot of tech reviews and do-it-yourself videos coming up in the near future. On the left side of the projector is a manual focus ring. This is a 1.35 to 1 ratio projector, meaning you can get a 100 inch image from a mere 9 feet away. Some quick specs here. The contrast ratio is 10,000 to 1. LED lamp life is about 90,000 hours and you can project anywhere from a 33 inch to 220 inches. Um, and again, native resolution is 1920 by 1080 and I'll confirm that shortly. They did also include a projection screen that was about 100 inches. You do get decent built-in stereo speakers on the side and you also have an SD slot for media and audio out port, audio video in port, a couple of HDMI ports and a USB slot to power a fire stick etc. On top of the projector you do have this disc like structure it basically mimics what you have on the remote control which I'll show you guys shortly here but all the controls are on top as well if you're nearby where the projector may be. Now at first glance I thought this was a little flimsy I mean this thing doesn't weigh a whole lot it is very small in size extremely portable so I was really surprised by the quality. So here are all the accessories that are included you get a full remote an audio video in cable, a power cable, the instruction sets, the power cord itself and you also do get a projector screen that you can use outside or even indoors uh, to put up yourself. An accessory that's not included but I highly recommend is this adjustable stand. You can adjust the height as well and it allows a bit more vi versatility on where you're going to be using this. So on top of the projector you do get all of the controls and buttons that are also on the remote itself. So if you don't have the remote nearby, you can use this disc-like structure that's on top of the projector and be able to control most of the features. So just like smart TV functionality, you do get screen mirroring built in, both 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz. So you can use your Android device to mirror uh, along with an iOS device as well and it works out fantastic especially if you don't want to connect anything but if you do want to connect something I would suggest like a fire stick and you can power that fire stick by the USB port that's built in to the projector as well so one thing I was very skeptical of was the claim that this is a native 1080p projector so I had to run some 1080p test patterns to confirm if it legitimately was and to my surprise a projector once again that's worth a couple hundred bucks is indeed native 1080p. So I didn't want to do any kind of digital zooming or, uh, or any of that so I had this projector resting on my headrest because that was exactly 10 feet from the 110 inch screen. I wanted to maximize the image quality so I didn't use the stand that was included and as you can see the screen is completely filled and the resolution this is again with the lights on is fantastic the color the pop you know this is straight out of the box not calibrated in any way and i am pleasantly surprised what a couple hundred dollar projector can do so this vancuo i am completely blown away so again this is with the lights on in the in the theater room as you can see all the ambient lighting and the pot lights I've got six of them in the ceiling they are all on and the image was just fantastic now I've turned them all off and the pop of the colors and the contrast ratio 
needless to say improved even more so and again guys i sound like a broken record here but this is a this is a couple of hundred dollar native 1080p projector that's throwing up these kinds of images even with the lights on and the light source again is not laser this is an led source uh, light source that is uh, creating these types of images just completely stunned by it being a cheap projector with amazing keystone correction of plus minus 50 degrees i can install this projector far off to the side and out of the way and apply keystone and get stunning images on the ceiling for additional theming and ambiance now for something that costs a little more than those starry light projectors you can actually use this in far more ways check out some of the other ways i create ambiance with this vankyo projector i'll have some links in the description to this projector so do check it out if you enjoyed this review please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel we are almost at 10,000 subs and at that mark I will be doing a big giveaway to one of my subscribers. Also, I will be putting out a lot more do-it-yourself ideas and tech reviews in the near future. So stay tuned guys and thanks again for watching.